we had a we had a great ass intro, and then like I looked down, and for some reason the shit was green. I was like, why is that green? And I was like, oh, I forgot to record. Man, <sighs> I love I love our podcast, and I love the conversations that we have. And I'm sitting next to one of the most influential people, not just in social media, but in my life personally. And I'm also in in a blessing position because grateful position because I also have his loving partner right next to him. These are the people behind the Jam Family YouTube channel. I have Jose and I need that next to me, baby. Let's yeah. go. Oh. But I, I have no, to. Point, you always got to do like the perfect introduction. No, nah, because no, that was so I, good. I'm like, damn, I gotta, I gotta race it up to that. You know what I mean? It, it's because I gotta point that out because you are very influential in social media. Mm-hmm. Again, your tag name on Instagram is your social media guy. That's right. You know, you're putting out content that's very valuable to everybody watching. Mm-hmm. But what a lot of people haven't known or maybe don't know if they're new to the to the episode or to the podcast which i appreciate you guys is you've been such an influence in my life mm. in trying to teach me systems but i'm very very <laughs> hard-headed in understanding but it, in in a sense of not just social media but fatherhood mm. man being a man and also being a friend mm. which you have all those things under the umbrella that we were just talking about mm. outside but that again just want to let you yeah, let that no, out there right now man. all of a sudden but we're sitting next to the boss lady. Yeah, it's the, it's the right. real boss. Make, make, right. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> make sure you watch what you say I because know, I'm, I'm <laughs> you may walk like, home after this. <laughs> <laughs> little pinch, yeah. little pinch. Man, but how are you guys, man? Good, brother. Yeah, we're doing amazing. This, I, I you mentioned, the Lord. Thank you, you for having us. Yeah. No, yeah. man. You mentioned, no, thank you guys. You mentioned this is the first podcast I, both of you guys have yes. been on. Yeah. Yeah. Besides your guys' channel, besides your guys' content, yeah. You're giving us opportunity to narrate a little bit of your mm. guys' story. Yes. A little bit that. of your journey. Yeah, yeah. we appreciate that. that. Family. Um, man, the title to this is Power Couple. Mm. Wow. There's so much depth to it. I love there, that. It's not just social media. It's not just looking good. Like, man, you guys looking. Man, why do go, everybody go change? We look, yeah. we look a little <laughs> bummy real quick. But, man, you guys looking stunning. You guys appreciate look. You, bro. I, I told you the other day that I, I haven't seen you glowing this much since mm. I met you, bro. And. Aww. I can see why. Yeah. I, I, I can see why. Because I, I know your heart is fulfilled. Yeah, 100%. And man. and, man, give us that. Why are you glowing? Why are you so happy? Why are you smiling? Man, I just think just everything just came full circle. You know what I mean? I think, um, obviously, before, like, the breakup, like, I've always wanted her to kind of, like, raise up and be, like, be the woman that I know who she could be, which is what she's doing now. Um, but we had to go through that season in order for us to, like, really kind of, evolve into that you know so i've obviously now you know getting back together and seeing her level up you know seeing her raise her own standards it's like it's like everything that i could have wanted and more you know because she was already an amazing woman an amazing mom it was just that like cherry on top you know what i mean so, yeah so yeah. now that we're both doing it together it's like all right you know what i mean now we're really onto something you know what i mean man, yeah. man. you man you cheesing you cheesing <laughs> i know what? <laughs> I think every woman likes to hear their man express themselves about. You know, I'm like, oh, it's so sweet. <laughs> For you, what what would, what is the change? Again, everybody that has followed your journey understands that it hasn't always been, you know, rainbows and sunshines mm-hmm. throughout the journey. Obviously, you guys have two beautiful babies and at, at the house right now. But for you, what? Why is this glow? Why are you smiling? Why your aura, your energy is just another frequency for us that <laughs> I, I admire. Thank you. No, honestly, I think it's the fact that I found myself, you know, and obviously having him as a partner to like push me and guide me, and you know, just man, it's like everything. It's like a like he said, a full circle moment for mm-hmm. sure. It's like I have the kids, we have the family, like. Everything's going so well for us, so it's it's down. Yeah, would you, know? you change anything? No, at all. No. Jose, would you would no, you change man. anything? I feel like <laughs> this is what I've been chasing like all my entire life. You know what I mean? To really just kind of have this, uh, I don't even I don't even know what to call it, but just this like situation. You know what I mean? With our relationship, and I feel like it had to go through its process, and like I'm just glad that you know it ended up working in our favor you know what i mean obviously going to the breakup wasn't easy um but it was a blessing in disguise for sure yeah yeah because i i know what we met each other last year beginning Mm -hmm. of last year 
and conversation that I had with, with Chris earlier where, you know, we, we come to sit down for a podcast and to have a conversation and that we know we, you know, we have depth to it, mm. you know, but we don't understand the repercussions of what comes after that. Yeah. What came after that was people loved it. People enjoyed it. <clears throat> we became a lot closer. We have a friendship yeah. outside of mm. this whole 100%. social media realm that we know is crazy. Yeah. But even then, when the first time we sat down to the second time we sat down with Chris, we sat down with Dre, your frequency was the first time it was low because you're again, you're we're both. Mm. At, I think we're both in the same position yeah. of healing and trying to understand a lot of things of life and the way shit is going to where the more it went, the more it started to rise just a yeah. little bit. And you you kept it a bug. You're working hard for your family, your kids, your your woman, your your partner, and it kept going and kept going. And I noticed a change, and I'll I'll, I'll be very honest. I noticed a change, <laughs> and and it's 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 funny, but again, it's very realistic. I noticed a change that you were moving in a direction that was for you mm. when you became unattainable and unreachable to a lot of people. Mm. Not just including myself, because again, I, I joke with you like, bro, I got to make a, uh, an appointment with the president <laughs> first before I can make it with you. But because you were moving at such a pace and such a frequency where you knew where you were headed to and you, you knew what you wanted mm. and you obtained it. Mm. And now that you have it, you're like nothing else. Is I think um, there's like really powerful story that I heard. Like I was probably I think it was like a like a video that I saw on social media, but it talks about how like when you're on your journey, like there's going to be a time where you get just like tunnel vision, you get in the zone, right. And like the right people are going to understand that you're in that season. Um, and I think, you know, I had to accept that cause I'm also that type of person that's like, man, like I got to go out, out of my way to make sure that this person is good. I got to make sure that this and that, which I still do. Right. But I think at the end of the day, it's like, I'm really trying to leave something for my children. You know what I mean? And sometimes I feel because of my like childhood traumas, obviously we had this conversation with, you know, Chris and, and, and you when we spoke about last time, but it's like, I've had, I have this like very difficult time of like always having to prove that I'm a good person to a lot of people. You know what I mean? And by doing that, a lot of times I stretch, I stretch myself out too thin to when at the end of the day, things are said and done. I still, I'm left depleted and I'm left with nothing, you know? Would it would turn be you became selfish? I would say so. Yeah. I, I wouldn't say selfish, but I allowed myself to be the main character of my, of my life. You know what I mean? And I, I think. Feel, from from my perspective, the way I see yeah, it, please, I feel dude, please, <laughs> yeah, like because I mean, uh, for sorry to interrupt you, but it's it's one of the things where I think anybody that knows the man behind the camera, it's someone that's seen it up close and, and first yeah. row, from mm -hmm. beginning to the middle to, to where right mm -hmm. now, yeah, and you've seen it time and time again because again, yeah. I felt like I've knew, known you by the way he explained you. And again, I was like, man, like that, I see why, I see why mm -hmm. he's chasing that. And I see in a sense of like, I mean, therapy in a little bit right now, but mm -hmm. I seen the emptiness. Yeah. You had all the, you had the whole apartment, but what was in there? Yeah. A couch, a bed. Yeah. <laughs> A couple dumb asses in there. Three <laughs> 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 myself, three <laughs> myself. <laughs> a, a couple of uh, a couple of people in there that's you know just trying to do their thing, but I think now it's fulfilled, mm -hmm. and yeah. now it's filled, hundred percent, and now it's completed. Yeah. yeah, and it's interesting because um, I know now we're pivoting away from what you're gonna say, right? But it's like now we stay at her place much rather than my my spot. You know what I mean? Because it's yeah. like that's where it feels home. You know what I mean? Yeah. When you throw so a little man across the across the room onto the couch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, you were about to say something. You seen um, you seen the growth. You seen everything. Yeah. When well about talking about him being selfish and stuff. I don't. I've seen it where he's always been that type of person. I want, like he said, likes to help people. Likes to, you know, pers pursue that. Like I want you guys to be aware. I want you guys to see what I see. I know what you're capable of. Yeah. And I think before he was a lot more persistent with that. Like I need to help him. It's my responsibility. As to now, it's more of like, you know what? Here it is. And if you can't take it, you can't see it. I'm I'm out. You know because he knows what it takes to like. It brings him down, and I've seen it. You know he's lost so many friendships, so many relationships. Where I'm like, it yeah. takes a big toll on him. But now he knows how to balance that. I feel like you know. Yeah. I mean, we just had this conversation the last. 
freaking like three hours of like, if you got to lose people, mm -hmm. we've had this conversation. Yeah. If we got to lose people, mm -hmm. it's just meant for that. Yeah. It's it's not they're not meant to be in this chapter of of our life. And I know someone great and someone very influential in my life that told me, you know, when you end up at a door and that door is only meant for you, mm -hmm. not meant for everybody <laughs> else. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you can't complain for them not fitting in there yeah. as much as you want them to. It's yeah. just. Maybe they're just not at that level. Exactly. Yeah. You know? And I had to accept that because I feel like yeah, yeah. just because I'm aware doesn't mean that everybody else is. You know what I mean? And I feel yeah. like yeah. I've always felt it as in like, I see it so clearly. Like, why can't you see it? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's and crazy. it's like, yeah. it's like a difficult thing to kind of have to process. And it's across the board, right? Family, friends, you know, I mean, even her and I kind of went to that situation, right? And I feel like it was one of the main reasons as to why the breakup happened. You know what I mean? Because I was growing at a pace where in my mind, I'm like, well, she's standing next to me, so she must be growing too. You know what I mean? Without realizing that she was going through her own internal stuff that yeah. she wasn't uh, trying to bring onto my plate because she was like, oh, well, he already has enough on his plate. Yeah. Why am I even going to, like, bring that up? You know what I mean? Can I hit you with a quote and tell me how you react to mm -hmm. it? And think, like, just tell me your perspective on mm -hmm. it and this position that you are now. Masculinity needs to be earned and femininity needs to be protected and preserved. 100%. Oh, I love that. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> That's it's good. so true. Yeah. What, what, what does it sound so familiar? <laughs> I, like, I feel like we shattered or something. It, you know? It's because it's a video that's that's been trending yeah. right now. That's been uh, really. Uh, um, yeah, and now I know what the video. Yeah, is yeah. About, But it's it's so true, and I think, um, you know, especially right now with like social media, I feel like we took like a very, um, you know, turn or like heavy on one side, right? Yeah. You know, we started deep diving into like, you know, people, and all due respect, you know, everybody's gonna do what they want with their life, right? For but sure. we went into like an era where, you know, empowerment, woman empowerment became, you know, them kind of, what is, what's like the word, like denigrating themselves, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's not the right approach. So I understand that there might be the need for that and I'm all for it, but I feel like there's a, a, a way to do it. You know yeah, what I mean? For sure. A lot of times like when you just look at social media, it's just because something is accepted and something is mm -hmm. trending that doesn't make it right. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. it's like I if you're, that somebody that's ultra successful but you treat people like shit that doesn't mean that i'm gonna rock yeah. with you you know what i mean just because you're successful and, and that's what i was just telling chris earlier there was a video i mean we both love kevin gates and there was a video of like him talking about masculinity and mm -hmm. femininity for a guy to be in tune with his feminine side it doesn't make you any less or weak mm -hmm. it just means you're in tune with this with the the emotions of being loving and caring yeah. and attentive mm -hmm. right and that's in being able to show your partner mm -hmm. Or if you're parents, you need to show your kids. 100%. You know, obviously we have daughters. We know how they go. Mm -hmm. And again, if you're just in that, like I've, I've been on this mindset of how you said earlier, my partner needs to go get hers. Man, she needs to be fine without me. Uh, mandatory. Mm -hmm. To now it's like, man, even if she does, she doesn't. Yeah. I got this. Mm -hmm. Because they have to feel a sense of, of <laughs> uh, being safe, mm -hmm. of comfort. Exactly. Of I think someone had told me, he's like, man, me being in tune with my feminine side, it means me not worrying about everything. Mm. I just worry about right now. Yeah. I'm like, That's me. I lost my purse. <laughs> yeah, she lost her purse. Oh, shit. Person. Someone go find it. <laughs> uh, what's the pin? What's yeah. the pin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. I think, but again, it's you just. Share that? I feel like that's a good story. To wait, share. wait, wait. Yeah. wait it has, okay, like, it has so, like a full circle like okay. kind of context to it. Let's actually, talk about this. Yeah, because I actually shared it on my TikTok. I did like story time, which it was like, it was like a big hit too. Mm. Um, but it was pretty much talking about that. Like I started off the video saying like, this is how, you know, I'm in my feminine era. Let me tell you why. And so, uh, the New hook, Year's, the hook. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and that was all him too, yeah. by the way. Oh, got <laughs> it. Started like this, babe. Yeah. Throw, right throw in the mouth. edits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was honestly, I, it was New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. Um, I lost my purse and oh. I was like. It's all your fault, babe. And he was like, why is it my fault? And I was like, because, like, I'm so used to you taking care of everything that I don't, I, I don't even know why I carry my purse, to be honest, you know? So it's just like, Shit, it's, oh, it's all your boy. fault. I lost it. Setting the standard here for all the girls, huh? All right, so, I mean, again, I think this this podcast, instead of being more about life, this man, let's talk about, Again, the requirements. Mm. In order for a man to lead in a relationship, what is required? What do you know is required now that you've been through this? 
Yeah, I mean, it's a awareness, you know what I mean? I'll, I'll say for sure awareness, you know, and I think also, like, understanding that, you know, just because I fight my own battles doesn't mean that she's not fighting her own, you know what I mean? And I think as, like, the man of the house, it's, like, it's my responsibility to also be an example for my daughter. You know, obviously, yeah, I want to provide for her and make sure that, you know, she's taken care of and all that, but I also want to be an example of, to my daughter and to my son, you know what I mean? I feel like that's the foundation of everything else, and then, yeah. I don't know, it's, I feel like it's, a, it's like a... A maturity thing too because i think um you know maybe we were literally just having this conversation on the way on the way here we were talking about how like you know even just two years ago we were kind of like okay with, with what was trending on social media you know what i mean and i feel like once you really become aware you start to understand that like i said earlier just because something is trending and it's quote-unquote accepted by everybody doesn't make it right you know and i think the moment that i understood that it was like okay what do i stand for you know what are my beliefs like what are the things that the make values. me me you know my values Morals. like you know so i feel like after that it was just kind of like okay like now i'm really in my shit but yep. i will say because <laughs> and I'm, I'm gonna bring this up because this is a really very like a very important thing to talk talk about right it's easy to say it when you're in a good position to do it right it's a lot harder to do it when you're not there because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of men out there that want to be that for their family, want to be that for their children, their wife, their spouse, but, you know, they're just not in that position to do so. You know what I mean? And I feel like it's also a responsibility on my end to be able to say that you're still that man regardless if you're performing that role to its fully capacity or not because it's already in you. You know what I mean? And the reason why I say that, too, is because a lot of men get shitted on because they don't have it, you know, set or they feel less. And I went through my personal journey of that. Right. I went through my own journey of like feeling like I wasn't enough. You know, every time I would try to break out, something would happen to my business. And then, you know, we would have our own internal problems. And it was like, damn, like I'm just not enough, you know, as a man. Um, and then obviously, you know, things took a turn for me. So now I'm in a completely different place. But I feel like everybody has it. You know, there's just a time and a place for it to fully evolve into what it could be. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> man. man. Cause I mean, you and I have this conversation yeah. all the time. No, most I mean? definitely. Cause I think you're going through things a lot in the pace that you're going through, because that's what God wanted, mm -hmm. wanted you to do. And at the time that we met and when I went through it, it was, a, it was at the beginning mm -hmm. of what you already have been through. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, again, the maturity and understanding who are my influential people. Mm -hmm. Right, Chris is very influential in my life. Major, he saved my life. Mm -hmm. You know, Pepe is a very influential person in my life. Jose is very influential in my life. Genesis, which again, Genesis brings me back to like, <laughs> hey, if you're gonna do God's work, what's your do it all in? Yeah, like mm -hmm. how are you how are you gonna repay it? Mm -hmm. Because you can't just take and then yeah. expect not to like you have a debt to pay. You yeah. know what I mean? So now to me, it's like, all right, if I'm gonna do God's work, okay, how can I repay Him? Mm -hmm. I got to do it again by showing my actions yeah not just pretending like oh yeah i'm about you and when everything's good and i'm about you when things are good and things are bad yeah you know and you've been an influential part of my life where hey no matter what the situation is and no matter how bad life is no matter w what is happening you take care of you and yours mm -hmm. no matter how things are looking mm -hmm. no matter what happens tomorrow you do your job and you take care of you your family and the people that are counting on you to do it. 100%, man. And if it doesn't work out, just know that you tried your best. I mean, and I think you at the end of the day, out. it's like I'm, com I'm I want to say comfortable, but I'm aware that I'm doing my responsibility in, like, yeah. every S sector. I mean, you're, my you're social media chapter. is an example of that. You know oh, what I mean? Man. It's like if you don't take it same. from that, it's like. And, and, you're, show and you're showcasing it. <laughs> I know I, I put the the yes on another question that you had posted. <laughs> it'd be your own sometimes. Like, it'd be your own people. Because <laughs> 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 I put, uh, there was, like, this thing that says there's two types of influencers. One that's. Look, uh, option A was like, look at me, and option B was come with me. Oh, you know, and everybody was like, come with me. He was the only one, <laughs> the only guy in there that put, look at me. I was like, I screenshot it and I sent it to him. I was like, it'd be your own people. <laughs> okay, okay. But I, I thought about it in the sense of like, remember him in New York, right? When he's taking his picture with the billboard of like, hey, look, look at, at me, me oh. right? Uh -huh. I thought about it there, but then, you know, my not going to college <laughs> as fucking thought was like hey, I'm need, like oh so that I didn't mean that high school, bro. so I was like that didn't mean that <laughs> he yeah, doesn't even have his high school diploma yeah I mean, you're, I more, you're more seasoned you're more seasoned <laughs> um, okay so I think a very powerful thing a very powerful person is the woman that's leading the front mm -hmm. right because again we cannot be these amazing 
men, these 100%. amazing people, without an amazing woman. Yeah, and I feel like that's something that I want to like emphasize too, because like people can see me as like you know the one who's in the forefront, but at the same time, it's like I wouldn't be able to have like a crystal clear vision if it wasn't for her. You know what I mean? Because I know my kids are taken care of, I know my house is taken care of, like I know I'm gonna come home to a good meal. So it's like that's super important. You know what I mean? And I feel like I want to give her her flowers in that respect because it's like. Even when we weren't together, she was still responsible. She was still being there for the kids. So it's like that's still a peace right. of mind. So that's that's my that's my question to you is how do you bring down that barrier of like it's not that he left you out to die for or anything, but how do you bring down that barrier of hey, I know my man can handle the risk? Basically, the whole masculinity and femininity part. How do you get back in tune with the whole femininity part when you are mm-hmm. a business owner? Being a business mm-hmm. owner. I, I think it kind of makes you in tune with the whole masculinity part yeah. because mm-hmm. we talked about this with Genesis. For a girl, t- in order to be respected in any industry, if us guys think we have it hard, man, you guys have it twice as hard because mm-hmm. you yeah. got you guys have to be solidified in any any way, shape, or form. So you're not just a business owner. You're a mother. Mm-hmm. You know, you're a partner. How do you maneuver in what this life is now? Honestly, it's... It's overwhelming for sure. I'm not going to say it's, like, easy because, you know, there is times where I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I have, you know, I have to work from home sometimes. I have to edit my videos, and then I have the little one here. (laughs) And then it's like I have to uh, clean the house. I have to cook. I have to wash. Um, But I think at the end of the day, it's. It's my my passion. You know, my my business is my passion and it's my purpose. And it's something that helped me find myself and makes me just feel whole, you know. Mm -hmm. So I don't see it as in like, um, how can I say it? I I don't see it as in like a job, if that makes sense. I I don't know how to explain it. No, 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 that makes sense. Because um, when we explain things, people think like, oh, man, that's your job. It's like, well, no, that's kind of just, that's what's needed. Yeah. Right? Without anybody saying it, that's yeah. what's needed. I mean, I, 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 for her, like, she has a backstory as to, like, why she's even doing what she's doing. You know what I mean? I went, obviously, there's, like, a, I think one of the things that I didn't put into the equation, like, before the breakup was that it's very difficult to be with somebody like me. You know what I mean? Because I'm always just go at the spirit. Dime mas, like, dime we'll mas. You know what I mean? Tu dilo. Tu dilo, <laughs> tu dilo. No, it, is, yeah. it is pretty hard. And I wasn't. You know? Okay, so with someone like you, what, is, what does that mean? For people that don't understand what someone like you means. Mm. Okay, I think we understand this because we, we know you and we see your daily life and everything. But the people that don't know you, what do you, what do you mean someone not like you? It's like I'm always chasing, you know? I'm always trying to see what more I can do, like how, you know, I can build bigger relationships, how I can network, how I can, you know, bring back more to the household and stuff like that. So I'm always just chasing, you know what I mean? Like I think, uh, hold on, full pep is going to go reach into that. (laughs) 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 You know, like before we were like, bro, everything has to be perfect now. Family conversation. Do that all the way. Mm. But yeah, Sorry, it's not that, you know, it's, like, well, that's water from the Himalayas, right there. Yeah. From the right, right from the, right from the <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm sorry, I love Target, bro. But Target was carrying that 24 pack. I'm a bad dog. I'm a bad. I know, Jose's like, what the fuck is this? I know, Jose's like, what the fuck is this? Can- oh, right there, the Evian. No, wait, I think it's part of it. You want that one? No, no, no. No, they'll hit you for it. Thank yeah, you for no, telling no, me. I got you. I love this guy. He has money, but he knows he knows how to <laughs> save. <laughs> hey, we were there down. Yeah. You know, we were there hey, fool. Bro. I trust me, this card is green stolen after yeah. this. <laughs> we hey, just, it. just swap it out. You know what I mean? Do it quick. Um, <laughs> uh, no, yeah, I, like I'm always chasing I'm always chasing like my vision and my goals. You know what I mean? And it never ends. It could be Early in the morning, late at night, like, I'm always just go, 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 you know, like, yeah. always doing stuff that that's uncomfortable, you know, especially for her, too, as well. And I think um, that was just something for me that just came natural, and I was like, oh, I'm doing it for my family. So it must be easy to understand, you know, without realizing that she was going through her own internal struggles and then still have to worry about the kids and then still have to worry about me outgrowing her and, and, and situations like that. So I feel like, you know, that's why I, I would say that it was difficult. You know, to be with somebody like me because I'm always 
on the go. Like I'm never gonna stop. Like it's. I think like for us, for the like the type of people we are, is just like we expect everybody else to follow us just and to be just at the same level as us mm -hmm. and under understand. Mm -hmm. When it's just like how we said, man, we go through our personal struggles and our personal demons and everything we go through, and we don't put in context and comprehend that. Man, I don't know what she's going through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know what they're going through. Yeah, but I expect them to show up the way I'm showing up. Mm. I don't. I don't know if that works. Yeah, because everybody has a different understanding of of how they deal with their own traumas and demons and stuff yeah. like that. And a know? different timing too. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, like we're progressing at at such a rate where it's just like today we may be fighting this issue right now, and next week it may be another mm. one. But we already figured out the previous one, and there's other people that may take a week or two more just to try to figure that one mm. out. Yeah. But again, like how we said downstairs and everything, because man, I love that you get that you guys give us the time to come and sit down because you guys are moving at such a rate now where people are seeing you as like, man, that's man, that's power couple. Mm -hmm. Two business owners put together, have a family, are living life, traveling and doing their thing. Like if they if no one has tapped in just yet, bro, go back to their IGs. They have I IGs <laughs> posts of, of New York and how they lived in New York. And then not something that was just up in front and just for the camera, something you deserve. Mm. Mm, yeah. I know that for 100%, 110%, standing on 10 toes down. Mm. I, I mean, I've told you many times, anybody that asks me about, oh, like, he started talking about social media. I was like, bro, talk, talk to my guy, Jose, bro. <laughs> my guy, my guy Jose, from uh, your social media guy, they're doing it. Mm. And he's just not doing it in a rate where he's just going to showcase it and, oh, you're left with nothing. I'm going to showcase it. Bro, here it is. Yeah. And if you're lucky enough to have a conversation, you know the depth of it. Mm. But again, and, and this is a beauty about this all because I know you're fulfilled now and you're you have happiness in your life mm. because there's a person sitting to your left that leads this whole household. Mm. Not you. You, you. you don't matter. <laughs> you don't matter. But there's someone that's sitting to your left that holds it, everything down. 100%. And that's something that, you know, sometimes it passes over somebody's head where it's like, nah, the guy's eating. Well, yeah, a guy leads and he goes through everything, but when he comes home, he needs someone that's just as strong or stronger to, mm -hmm. hey, well, everything you're going through. I yeah, I mean, she's the reason why I have the clarity, you know what I mean? But, you know, even to, like, take it back to what you were saying about, like, you know, for the most part, whenever I do something, I do with an intention, you know? Like, and a lot of times, like, when I do stuff on social media, it's always to, like, you know, level up other people. You know, and so there's always a message in it, you know, whether you will have the awareness to receive it the right way or not, like that has nothing to do with me. You know what I mean? But everybody yeah. that will be on my issue will be like, oh, there's something to take away. You know, whether it's just a personal message, whether it's just mindset, awareness, business, whatever the case might be, like there's always something in it. And I feel like um, I've kind of come to the understanding that that is my purpose, you know, and for a while, like I kind of neglected it because it's like. Like, what, people, what are people going to think? You know what I mean? Like, I'm not even where I want to be yet. Like, who am I to be talking about that? You know, until now I'm in a season where it's like, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Like, everybody's at a different chapter. Like, you know, my square one mm -hmm. could be your dream. You know what I mean? Being at square zero. Mm -hmm. And it multiplies across the board with that. Um, so there's a, t there's a time and a place for it. But I feel like now I'm barely understanding that and embracing it. And if people have a negative perception of me, of how I'm doing it, then that's that says more a lot about them than it does about me. You know, and... Mm -hmm. Now that I've accepted it, it's like, all right, let's let's go. You know what I mean? Like, because even even the, I mean, just New York was a whole different experience, man. Like, so in New York, my I guy, was. <laughs> my guy had a driver. They had a billboard. He was wearing a nice jacket that is not my size, but I'll still take <laughs> it. <laughs> but I mean, so if you guys haven't noticed or haven't tapped in just yet, click on their page your social media guy where the fam the family trip of family and business trip because mm -hmm. it's a business and family right there's there's two He's things all, all in, every all. time we take sorry to interrupt you yeah, every good. time we take a family trip it's always business for him too though yeah this trip that we have here <laughs> it's, it's not just to come and have fun it's a business trip <laughs> we really, we understand this but you guys went all the way to new york mm -hmm. you create you made and you invested in yourself to create a billboard in times square mm -hmm. And bam, there you are taking a picture. I hope I'm, I'm ed I can have my editing skills <laughs> to pop it up right here. Um, but besides that, mm -hmm. there's a whole trifecta that came from it: mm -hmm. the lifestyle, mm -hmm. 
you know, your kids, the driver, Anita making a mu music video down in, in Times <laughs> Square that looked amazing. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what? Who is that? <laughs> oh, no man. <laughs> no pictures. No stay pictures. away. Paparazzi. Um, but, man, talk about that investment. Talk about that trip really, really fast because that yeah. was crazy and amazing. Yeah, All honestly, in like I'm still on a high from that trip, you know, because it's like I feel like that's the experience that every man wants to give his family, mm -hmm. you know, and I think that everything like went down that way to the T, you know what I mean? Like there's you'll take trips and there's like stuff that just kind of, you know, doesn't feel like perfect. But I feel like that trip like felt picture perfect, yeah. like in every every shape or form mm -hmm. um, from the game picked up on a private driver getting dropped off the bellman taking your luggage all the way to the top, like. Just a whole experience, you know what I mean? Being a drop, being driven around New York, just literally just getting off the car, going to the experience, this, walking back. To this the little, this the little dude from San Diego <laughs> making it big in the Big Apple. Yeah. That man, I don't know if you ever imagine yourself out there like doing Strong. that type of type, of, doing not even work, doing that type of investment for yourself, mm -hmm. because you travel for work for mm -hmm. what you do already, and to get you out of the house is already expensive, mm -hmm. but to go out there and invest in yourself. That's different. Yeah. To invest in yourself is a whole other. It's a whole other ball game than investing in somebody else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like I said. Like I feel like every man would want to do that for his family. You know what I mean? Like I enjoyed it just seeing them enjoy it. You know, like oh, those seeing, pictures are amazing, bro. Seeing my daughter in the back seat just chilling. My son too, oh, her too. Like, just chilling. Yeah. Dri the Setting driver. The center yeah. high for Mila for sure. <laughs> the driver opening up her door. Like it was just. It was like full circle. Random, but, random question, but. Whoever dates your daughter, what's the income got to be like? Cause, <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, I mean, daddy, daddy doing it, daddy already doing it. Facts. I think uh, we had said it earlier, right? When it's just like, um, I was I was talking with with someone earlier when it was just like, if you can't do it, right? If I'm dating, if you can't do it, shit, I know someone that can, which is my Ooh. brother or my dad. Mm, that's and a if you can't do that shit, then why the fuck do I want you? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, imagine that, the, sta the standard. The standard. Yeah. Well, like, you you ask my daughter, oh, what do you want to do this weekend? Um, I want to go to Hawaii. Oh, I want to go. I'm like, for her birthday, every she wants a trip for bro. every birthday. Bro. <laughs> Everything. Everything crazy. She thinks it's just easy. You know what I mean? Sometimes I'm like, Mama, like, I'm like, you know how much that costs? And she's like, No, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Figure it out. <laughs> yeah. All right. So um, you had just mentioned. I mean, again, uh, uh, let's pivot. Life is about pivoting. Conversation mm -hmm. is about pivoting. You're an amazing mother. I know that thank without you. even knowing you, mm -hmm. right? I know. I know. We know about you because, because of this of amazing him. man. But because of what we've seen you post and how you maneuver, and especially the content you've been posting, and not just your business, mm -hmm. we know you're an amazing person. Thank you. I appreciate that. Right? So, motherhood, mm -hmm. you have a business. Where does this come from? What is the balance? How does this, if you can shout, shout, shout out your business name and then what you do, and it, please tell us how this came about because yeah, that's sure. amazing. You you're working in a nice studio. Yeah. One day I hope no. to visit. One day I hope to visit. I'll hook you up with the brow wax I'll, or something. Yeah. <laughs> we'll hook your brows up. Yeah. <laughs> that is like me. Me too. Yeah, no, I um I'm a brow technician. Uh, make sure you guys follow my page. It's Anita Brows. Um, but I do pretty much anything from waxing, laminations, tints, and microblading. So more of like a permanent tattoo. How did how did this come about? When did you start your business, and how did your business come during about? our breakup? Actually, man, forget <laughs> you. <Yeah. laughs> She's like, I'm gonna do better with top two. <laughs> so stop that fool. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, I was um, I went through like a really hard time. I think this was before our breakup. I fell into like really bad postpartum depression. If you guys are mommies out there, um, it's a real thing, you know. So yeah, talk about that. That's that's mm. huge because I don't I think like a lot of times we take it lightly. Yeah, yeah. Not, not like us guys are like you don't you know. The, why are you depressed, man? You at home chilling with the kid. You got everything. Don't worry about it. Yeah, no. But there's something that happens with with the mother yeah. and the, the parting yeah. of your hormones uh, yeah. are all over the place i remember um i would just cry huh mm -hmm. i was like at nighttime i was like oh my god like i just want to cry i feel sad and he was like but why and my mom too she was like 
like, why do you want to cry? You have your kids, your husband, like your home. And I'm just like, I don't know. It's, it's something you can't explain. Mm -hmm. Right. So I felt just so lost, confused. I didn't feel like fulfilled or anything. Um, so that's when I was just like losing myself, but I've been working since I was 14 too, you know? So I've always been kind of like that go getter, that mom that's like working and then when mila turned one i started my uh, makeup business so i was a makeup artist for seven years the last time i worked for somebody was when i was like i'm gonna say 18 18, yeah, 18. Say yeah. <laughs> that's amazing that's yeah huge. that's huge yeah so it's always been we've been kind of like entrepreneurs yeah. since we were young so um when you have kids, obviously your life changes, right? You're yeah. now devoted your time to, to your kids. And then obviously your career kind of takes, uh, you know, backseat. backseat. Yeah. yeah. So to me, it was really hard, like staying at home, cooking, cleaning. It becomes like a routine. Yeah. So I felt so lost. I was like, this isn't me. Um, yeah. And then obviously our social media blew up. Yeah. And at that time, mm. I think that was probably the hardest because when you don't know who you are, social media could be like a really bad bad dark place to be in Influence. because yes so you do feel like do i need to be like this do, do i need to act like these girls and then you have you know people commenting on your post you need a bbl you don't look like the rest of the influencers like why are you wearing the same shoes you were wearing in the last picture and i'm like seriously but all of that because i was so lost and confused yeah. takes a big toll and it was like i was just sinking more and more every single day and i was like man like i i came to a point where i just blew up you know and eventually like all of my insecurities all of um my everything that had to do with me i was projecting it into our relationship mm -hmm. and then obviously with um him working it was really hard because we've been together since we've been 14 16 <laughs> so oh. it's like we grew up That's crazy his That's world huge. used to yeah his world used to revolve around me so yeah. we went from like wow. being amazing. little kids him being everything is for you my time is for you you know you're you're in that like honeymoon stage yeah, like nothing and, in this world goes on <laughs> without exactly. you yeah, yeah, yeah. so then you know we have our kids and obviously the minute we have our kids, um, well, Mila at the time, it was like a big trigger for him. You know, like now I'm supposed to be a provider. Like this is my daughter. I want to change her life. And for me, I didn't see it like, I guess for a man, it's very different than for yeah, a woman. For sure. So that's when he was kind of like full mode. Like I'm going to pursue something yeah, else, you it's know. It's our understanding. I mean, it's, I understand to an extent of how you said, how yeah. you just said. I understand. I got to be a provider. Exactly. Everything else that comes with it. I don't exactly. got time for it because yes. I gotta be I gotta be a provider. I gotta be a father, mm -hmm. but I also gotta go get mine. Mm -hmm. And with all that, I feel like man, that's a lot already. It is. I'm taking into consideration, like man, I don't know what you're going through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know what you're feeling. So we're focused on our on our battle. Yeah. yeah. So it's just, I mean, if you think about it, you're bringing any battle that you went through over here at work, mm -hmm. and you're adding it to whatever she went through right now at home. And now instead of being that piece, I think for us, it was a little bit different because <clears throat> for me, I'm like the type of person that like, if I'm going through something, like I show up, you know, like I don't need to put it on to her. I don't I'm need to turtle. put it on to anybody else. Yeah. Turtle, turtle. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> turtle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, like I don't, um, I just, I'm quiet. He shuts you know? down. Yeah, I shut and down. And so I think in the woman perspective, when obviously I think for us women, we want our men to communicate. We want them to be like, oh, like come crying to me. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like tell me what you're feeling. Obviously now I'm at a different mindset where yeah. I'm like more aware of how men yeah. function as opposed to women. So that gives me a little bit more understanding of okay. how men show So kind emotions. of give us that background. So instead of like I know how you said, like women mm -hmm. at, it, uh, tend to ex try to expect their man to let sure. me come home with let me come home and tell you everything mm -hmm. when us men are like man my girl don't deserve that she don't need it she don't mm -hmm. care about hearing me because then it come it's that again the social media aspect if i tell you how i'm feeling and what i'm going through man i'm weak i can't exactly. leave exactly yep. i can't yep. leave and that's something i didn't understand right until he communicated that to me until i knew that 
for men, it's very different to yeah. show their emotions Shout because it Tate. shows. Literally, Andrew Tate, <laughs> bro. <laughs> he helped me understand men a lot more, for sure. Because I was like, oh, my God, okay, yeah. that makes sense. You know, because I was expecting him to come. And, I mean, like, again, social media, oh, right? Yeah. All these women are like, oh, like, I want my men to come and cry out to me. And you do see a lot of weak men out there. Yeah. You know, that just, like, can't stand up for themselves. And they're very yeah. weak-minded. And it's sure. like... So it, it becomes like, okay, should I want my man to be like that? You know? Yeah. I think there's there's a there's a fine line, right? There there's is, a there's yeah. a very thin line of between being a weak man and a strong man. A strong man knows his masculinity side of it and his femininity side exactly. of it. Exactly. There's time and a place for it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you how I feel, but I'm also gonna tell you, hey, this this is a solution to it. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You know, like doesn't yeah. mean like I'm gonna tell you how I feel, I'm sad, depressed, <clears throat> this is going on, or maybe just a bad moment. But Hey, don't worry. Let's go. And maybe to an extent, maybe I'm wrong. You correct me. But like, hey, let's go out here. I have everything planned. Showing Mm. her you're still leading. Mm. Showing her, hey, don't worry about any any little thing. I still got this. I just want to tell you where I'm coming from and where I'm functioning from. Because I think as men, we function out of pain. Yeah, we thrive on pain. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna go through that that loss that that trauma. It's cool. I got this. Mm -hmm. Because now I grow through it. And some people know how to maneuver through channel it, it yeah. And, yeah, and channel it and, and use it in the right areas. And then some use it as their excuse of why they haven't done it. Mm. Well, shit, I went through all this shit. You expect me to, well, yeah, I went through all this over here and I'm over here. What's up? Yeah. yeah. And it's just like the victim mindset that we talked about with Chris and more Pepe. Like, yeah. it's, I'm not in the victim mindset no more. Mm. I used to be a fuck white me, dog. Yeah. I'm done yeah. with this. Yeah, and I feel like we kind of like we had like a whole, <clears throat> what you call it, like just like a like a perfect storm, bro, of a lot. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, you know, mm. obviously, um, pre-COVID, um, I was doing good, you know, and then my business took a major dip uh, during that time because yeah. we couldn't we couldn't go out and work. Um, so I had to slowly start, you know, letting go of my team, and then you know, just feeling like damn, like I was just crushing it, and all of a sudden, like I'm barely being able to pay the bills, you know. Yeah. And then on top of that, you know, uh, um, I wasn't working at the time. Yeah, she either. wasn't working at the time. And then going through that and then me trying to like, you know, pivot and adjust, you know what I mean? And, and doing a whole different thing now. I started working with influencers like during that time, too. So and, and then it just then we blew up and then it's like, damn, even though like we're blowing up, but it's like I'm still struggling. You know what I mean? Like I'm still trying to recover from that dip, you know, of my business. And then. It was just a lot, bro. You know what I mean? And then us getting our own place. Let me ask you something. Like, do you feel like you had to lose it all to to understand what everything is? I've lost it multiple times. You know what I mean? That's why, like, for me, this time is, like, I wouldn't call it personal, but I'm a lot more intentional with it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because I've gone through two seasons of that, you know, within my business and and my personal life to where it's, (laughs) like, I'm in a season right now where, like, if this goes south, it's because of me. Because I wasn't responsible because <laughs> now I have the awareness of what could happen and the mistakes that I did yeah. the previous two times to where it's like now you got to be really responsible because like you've you now you're in a place where it's like this is that foundation that you've always been looking for and fighting for. Now it's like really solidify that so that then you can truly build, you know, because I think um, I think most of us as like, you know, first generation um, across the board. Right. We we start off in, at a negative you know what I mean? Like, let's yeah. say this is the starting line. We start off here. So even catching up to here is barely where I'm at right now. You know, now I get to truly build and stack on to what should be the starting line for everybody else. Right. But look, uh, unfortunately, that's not the case, you know, for a lot of us. But now I'm like, OK, now that I'm aware, it's like, let me really be responsible and try to, like, really solidify this so that it never yeah. goes away, you know, because. I don't want to tell my daughter like, "Hey, you remember those trips? We can't take, yeah. we can't take them no more." Yeah. Or oh, remember, you know, this and that. Like, we can't do that anymore. Yeah. It's like, like I you already showed her that Dang you don't want to take it away. Yeah, man. Hey, man, let me fuck you up real quick <laughs> because I like um, again. I don't want to make this podcast too super long. Where, like, man, we've been very intentional since mm-hmm. minute second one, but without looking to your left. Me looking at you right now, right? <laughs> me looking at you right now. You already know where this yeah, is going. Yeah. What has your partner done for you that she doesn't know? I think the thing that every man wants, which is peace. You know what I mean? I think at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, we can go out, huh? We can go out and, you know, go to the 
journey of entrepreneurship, the roller coaster, the challenges, like just the emotional battle that comes with it. But at the end of the day, it's like I know she's gonna support me. You know what I mean? Whether I do right, well, I mean not wrong, right? But whether I execute it right or you know I underperform, I know she's gonna be my support system. She's always gonna give me, you know, that support, the peace of mind. You know, knowing, making sure that my kids are taken care of and all that stuff. So I feel like that's the best thing that any man <laughs> could want, which is you know just peace of mind. You know what but I mean? it, now where we. Where you're at, sitting right here today, bro. I know she means the world to you, mm. and then some. Mm. If you could try to put that into words for us, what is that? Don't look at her. Don't look. Nah, at I mean, her. it's. <laughs> I don't like. I don't think you you ever could. You know what I mean? I think you know that's also the main. Like, she knows that I love her to death. You know what I mean? And I think um, that's why I do what I do. You know what I mean? To give her the experiences that there's so much stuff that I personally would want. That I'm like, nah, like, let me give them what they want first and I can worry about myself later, right? But, I mean, she knows I love her to death. Like, she's my better half, you know. She's the reason why I am who I am, you know what I mean? Like, her, my first venture into, like, quote-unquote entrepreneurship, you know, was because of her, you know what I mean? And, and I've, I've shared this story about, like, you know, when I started my business and all that, but it goes back even further, you know what I mean? Um, I have, I had made a mistake, you know, when I was a lot younger and I ended up carless with no money no job, no nothing, you know what I mean? And she was the one that was taking care of the rent, you know, she was paying our phone bills. Uh, she let me borrow $1,000 to be able to, like, uh, invest into, like, a car and flip it. So then from there, it just kind of kept going, you know. And then after that, she let me borrow money to, you know, start, like, a like a little, I will buy clothes off of eBay and then just resell them. So really, like, she's been the backbone of who I am, you know, as a person. And I think that's something that I'll forever be grateful and like, everything that, we now get to experience, I would say, isn't just a fruit of my labor, but it's a fruit of hers. You know what I mean? Because without her, like, it just, it wouldn't have been possible. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Okay. Wow. laughs> nah, I, I mean, again, it's just, I'm seeing you just as outsider in, but as your, as a friend that has seen you from the beginning to right now, where it's like, it's, it's changed. Yeah. Life has changed. Yeah, hundred percent. The best of it, you know. What She's I mean? believing in me blindly since the beginning. Yeah. Before, like, I was your social media guy. Before, I had wow. somewhat of like social proof to support yeah. my crazy ideas. Right? Mm -hmm. um, She's blindly believed in it. You know what I mean? It's like right now we're getting a gate done at, at, at the house, and um, first it was the fence, right? And then I told her, I was like, why don't we just tell the guy to just do the 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 door in the back, do not vest. And then I come home and the guy's doing the thing and I'm like, when did this happen? And I was like, you didn't tell me that he was, that you had already told him. And then she was like, watch, I'm going to show it to you. So like, <laughs> you don't think I'm, I'm faking it. Watch. <laughs> Hold on. She was like, look, read that right there. But read that, love. Read the, fr the front gate doesn't. No, this one here. Oh, well, you tell me to jump. I say how high. Um, submissive. I'm a submissive wife. What do you think? You know, that's what I mean? right. I love you. So it's like, I don't know. It's just, it's different. You know what I mean? I forgot where I was going. This one went somewhere else. <laughs> it's just, but I mean, I, when, I, I believe you. Yeah, I she believe just, believe yeah, you. she just like believes in me like yeah. blindly. You know what yeah. I mean? Like I said, even before I had somewhat of a track record to, yeah, you know, for her to believe in me. You know what I mean? And, and so that helped but me. But I a lot. think I also think like as a woman, uh, you know, you it's not. It's, he's performed. So all the times that I've seen him, like me giving him even thousand dollars, whatever. Yeah. It's it's the um the hustle, the drive, the hunger that I've seen in him. Yeah. You know, and every wow. single time it's always been delivered, delivered, delivered. So it's like now I'm at a point where it's like I don't even question it. You know, it's just I trust him. No matter what, it's it's it always works out. You know? it, if you can, if Anita, if you can give us your definition of true love, of pure love, what would that, what would that be? Oh, it's so hard. It's, and I tell him this that I'm like, I wish every woman, every person could experience it because it's something you can't explain. It's something you feel, and it all, it's all by action, right? Like so, for him, it's like, it's just so hard to explain it. It's like. I sometimes feel like our love is so real. It's so it's so good to be true. You know, it, this is kind of what you see in movies, and it's you you can't explain it. There's yeah. no words to describe it. 
<laughs> I'm like, no, I, I don't it. know anybody else feels that way, but it's so hard. No. The, the Sadly, lunch. we don't feel that way. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, we don't feel that <laughs> way. <laughs> that, took, that took a turn real quick. <laughs> We're not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> that took a turn real quick. I <laughs> know. <laughs> <laughs> But we one day want to feel just what in your position what you feel. Yeah, no, no, it's true. <laughs> like, I, like to kind of support what she was saying. It's like, like she said, it just feels too good to be true. You know what I mean? But also too, I feel like it's it's a process. A lot of it people is. want that picture perfect partner. They just think it's just gonna come, and it's just an individual that's just ready for them at you know, at at a job or at whatever, right? But. I don't think we would feel this way if we wouldn't have gone through all our challenges, Absolutely. through all our breakups, through all our situations, yeah. through all our challenges. Like it was like it was a build up to becoming this version of us. You know what I mean? It was never like, oh, she was already primed for me. And then I just go and date her and then it's a wrap. It's like, no, we went through so many challenges. We went through so many breakups, we went through so many, you know, we cried a lot. You know what I mean? So it's it was a, it's been a long journey. You know what I mean? And I don't think I think. It, something that I could give to everybody is like, don't expect to find your better half. Your better half. Yeah. That's just picture perfect. You grow with that person. You build alongside that person, so that exactly. you both mold to have, as close to as perfect as possible. You have it's to never. find a person that is loves you enough to be able to compromise. Because mm. it, yeah. it, in a relationship, what, it's all about compromising. You know, all right. what's your non-negotiables to make this work? To make a relationship work. I think for me, it's the family time. Like, there has to be a balance. And I think that's the reason kind of why we also drifted a little bit um, before our breakup was because he was so hungry and chasing. And it was like, honestly, he would go to bed by like four in the morning, wake up at eight in the morning, and I wouldn't see him till yeah. nine, come home. And it was like he was there, but he wasn't there. Yeah. You know, so I think that kind of gave us like a big gap in our relationship where I'm like, no, we can't have that. You know, like, yes, we, we want to be successful. We have dreams and goals, but not to the cost of, you know, t taking time away from our family. So, yeah. And that's, that's something that I've kind of had to like <clears throat> adjust because I'm an all in person when I'm all in with something like. I get obsessed with it, you know what I mean? Yeah. I go tunnel vision, like, at every given second I'm thinking about it, like, you know, trying to become better. But it's, like, how she said, right? It's, like, if I'm doing it, here's something that a lot of entrepreneurs, like, kind of, I would say, um, how would I say it? Like, I forget the right word for it, but it's, like, if you say that you're doing it for your family, but then you don't create that time for your family, then what are you really doing it for? Mm. You know what I mean? And I think it's, like, a... As I'm growing into my journey, you know, I think, you know, starting out, I'm like, oh, I need $50 million. I need to make $100 million. And now I'm in a season in my life where it's like, I've seen what 50 mil, a dust, 50 mil a year does to people. I've seen what 100 mil does to people. Like, I don't want to go through that. And I don't need to go through that. You know what I mean? And it's like, let me just finding, trying to build a solid foundation that would allow me to be there for my family still. Because at the end of the day, right, if, if that's who I say that I'm doing it for, then why do I need to go chase more than I really need? You know, it's like the, um, there was like a fisherman story. I don't know if you heard it, but it's like this guy goes, hunts a fish every single day, comes home, brings it back to his family. They'll have a good time. They get to chill in front of the beach the rest of the day. And then uh, a, a business fisherman comes up to him and is like, well, why don't you buy a boat? And why don't you do this? So that now you have thousands of fish coming in every single day. And you could live an amazing life with your family. It's like, so you're telling me that I'm going to do 10 times more work to achieve the exact same thing that I'm already doing. And for me, that was like, oh, damn. Like, it's so true. You know, I think a lot of times we, because of whether it's social media or just our idea of what we think we want, is it gets distorted in a way, you know, until you really realize that it's like, hey, it's not a number. It's a, it's a point in stability and somewhat of a balance in which you can perfectly I mean, not perfectly, but as close to um, find the right time for business and the things that you're passionate about, but also be there and be present for your kids and your family. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's a very unique situation. And I've had this conversation with her. I'm like, damn, I used to think I needed all this money. Now it's like, no, I just. Yeah, we used to think we needed that and then some. <laughs> and <laughs> Bro, it's just, now it's just a simplicity. All I need is this. Bro, as, 
it's all everything in life is just awareness you yeah. know what i mean it's the more aware. yeah we talked the about more, this earlier awareness yeah. decision making yeah the more you that know? you become yeah. aware of things it's like it, it, it helps shorten that time gap there's a quote that says um a, a wise man will learn from the mistake of others and a stupid man will want to experience it himself Ooh. you know yeah. and i think a lot of us are in that i need to experience it for myself and it's like no i've seen what he's done and i know the mistakes that he's gone through and the backstabs betrayals and the pain and everything that he goes through yeah. towards like, i don't even want that you know what i mean Fuck so yeah. i get to learn from somebody else's mistakes a lot man, you guys are just amazing nah it's have really? people have amazing Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, honestly, man, like, um, I feel, I feel like that's something that I like. I also too want to like always pinpoint right because with through social media, like you think that everything is perfect, you know. Yeah, and sure. there's times where I I go on there and I'm vulnerable. I'm like, hey, like entrepreneurship looks just like this. I'm sick. I'm tired, yeah. but I still have to deliver because I have expectations for yeah. my clients or like you know yeah like right now like our little guy he's sick he's throwing up so it's like. It's never perfect, you know what I mean? You just have to kind of figure it out as you go. And, and it's not yeah. about perfection. It's about just constant progression and never letting your foot off the gas, sure. you know, so that you ultimately become, you know, the, the greatest version of yourself. Man, mm -hmm. if I can think, if I could put my gratitude enough for you guys into words, I don't think there's enough time in the world mm -hmm. for that because I appreciate you guys. I appreciate too, bro. The, appreciate the world you. and then some for you guys coming with us for the amount of time that we've been here. This is amazing. Thank you. This yeah. is like I for sure. No, this is like a us, this is like a part one out of like part <laughs> ten. No, because facts. There's so much for things, sure. but again, for anybody that's like that is intrigued already and wants to follow that journey, man, you guys gotta tap into Instagram, YouTube, follow that journey mm -hmm. of life because bro, you guys are doing this. Thank you, bro. Is is that you. and then some, but. I mean, you too, man. Like, I feel like, I know. you know, I always have this conversation, right? But, yeah. you know, I always want to give you your flowers. Like, there's not a lot of people who have the work ethic, you know what I mean, to make this happen and you know, do it alongside amazing people. You know, Thank I you. think one of the biggest things that I've seen is, like, firsthand is, like, every single person that comes in as a guest ends up becoming someone like family to yeah. you. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I feel sure. like that's something that, you know, isn't easy, easily done. Right. There's platforms that can go and generate hundreds of thousands of views and millions of views or whatever. But it's like that's there's no depth to it. You know what I mean? It's just when the lights are on, the cameras are on and that's when you get the, the relationship version of it. But with you guys, I mean, the deepest conversations that we've ever had has always been off of camera. Yeah. You know what I mean? With you, but with Pepe, you the, know, everybody the, here with Chris. The best conversation you know I mean? never recorded and the best moments are never, never, never taken. Yeah. You know, so, man, I honestly, I love you guys, bro. And thank you, you guys bro. for coming on another episode of a Tulsa life especially yeah. in your city you gotta make this like a series every time you're in san diego it's like, you gotta, <laughs> we gotta she don't tell me fool because i might be here next <laughs> yeah. another, once a month Facts. but nah man thank you guys both for giving us a time and opportunity to showcase a little bit of your guys' story your life that has been amazing thank your you, youtube thank you. your social media business and individually and together and man a Tulsa life cheers Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah.